Hi everyone. In this video, we will learn about the electronic apex locators. Apex locator they are used for measuring the walking length of the tooth. They will tell us about the apical constriction, that is a point where we have to terminate our endodontic processes. The apex locators they are available in the different generations. Let's study that. The first generation is also called as the resistance type apex locators. They measure the opposition to the flow of the direct current. But the results of the first generation apex locators they are not reliable. The example is the root canal meter. So there is a need for the second generation apex locator. The second generation apex locator it measures the impedance. Uh, the electrical impedance across the wall of the root canal due to the presence of the transparent dentine it measures that. But the results of the second generation apex locators are also inaccurate when they are compared with the radiographs. Both first and second generation apex locators they work only in a dry canals. In the third generation apex locator they measure the multiple frequency impedances. They have the powerful microprocessors which measures the multiple uh, frequencies and uh, the electrolytes the electrolytes doesn't affect uh, their accuracy. The examples of the third generation apex locator are the root ZX or NZX. The fourth generation apex locator they measure the individual components. They determine the impedance at five frequencies and have built-in electronic pulp resistors. The example are the apex. So the basic principle behind the apex locator is that they measure the impedance difference. The impedance difference is highest at the cementodentinal junction. It is lowest at the corner portion of the uh, root dentine and as we progress from the corner to the apical, it is highest. That's the basic principle behind the apex locators. So the different components about the apex locator are we have the lip clip, file clip, display screen and a connecting port. Now coming to the different factors which affect the accuracy of the apex locator that whether the canal is dry or the wet. The as we discussed earlier that the first and second generations they work only if the canal is dry. But the new generation apex locator they work in both the dry as well as the wet canals. The size uh, during the round round preparations as we do the pre flaring so the results are more accurate with the apex locators. Normally file type or size they don't have any effect in the accuracy of the apex locators. And yes, with the metallic restorations, they give the pseudo reading. So either we have to remove the restorations or we have to reliable on X ray for determining the working length in cases where there are the metallic restorations. And the apex locators are contraindicated in the patients as a cardiac pacemakers. So we don't have to use the apex locator in patients with the apex locator. Now how we have to use the apex locator, what are the method of using it? Simply we have to take the 50 number file and we have to advance slowly till the, till the display screen or, uh, or there, are the, uh, there are also sound it gives the, it, till it reaches the apex. We get to know it from the display screen or the sound and we have to confirm the length with the radiograph. What are the advantages of the apex locator? They are the precise, they give the accurate readings, there are the no radiation exposure, they eliminate the error and they are easy and quick to use. So what are the disadvantages? The canal should be completely dry and they can't be used in patients with the cardiac pacemakers and in cases of the open apex we can't determine the working length with the help of the electronic apex locators. So this is in brief about the electronic apex locators. Hope it clears. Thank you. Follow and subscribe the channel for the more videos.